ಪ್ರೀತವಾಣಿ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮ ವಾಣಿ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮ ವಾಣಿ ಅಮೃತವಾಣಿ Grace and blessings of the Lord be always upon you dear brothers and sisters in Christ today the 18th of November the good god is calling us to come back to him today we see Jesus healing the blind man at the Jericho gate the blind man at Jericho is healed and we see him shouting loud Jesus son of David have mercy on me and then we also see people trying to silence him saying they don't disturb be quiet but he shouts all the more louder jesus listens to his plea comes to him asks him what do you want help me see lord and he is healed and he starts to see there's a beautiful message for us here dear brothers and sisters if we want a conversion of life if we want to see then the first step is know that you are blind if you want to see know that you are blind that blind man accepted his blindness he knew that he was blind many of us do not accept our blindness papam lo unna mukani ಆ ಪಾಪಾನ್ನಿ ಮೇಮು ಅಂಗೀಕರಿಂಚಮು ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಮೆನ್ನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಯಗ್ನಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ವೆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಡಿ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ವಾಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ದೇ ವೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದೇ ವೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದೇ ವೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಪುಷಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟಿಲ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ accept accept our sinfulness accept our wrong accept our blindness second no who can give you sight he knew that jesus can restore his sight so knowing that i am blind is not enough i should have a desire to see again and that desire should lead me towards the one who can give me my eyes back second getting to the person knowing the person who can give me my sight back so knowing that i am in sin is not enough knowing also the lord who can help me out of the sin getting to him coming to his presence is necessary third should not be moved or deterred or shaken by others because on the last judgment day the lord is not going to ask you how did your neighbor behave with you how did your wife behave with you how did your children behave with you you can't say that my child my wife my son has led me towards sin towards satan no the lord is going to ask you how did you live can't play blame game so that blind man was not deterred He saw he thought these people will always be around trying to put me down but this time he is there he can heal me and no one can stop me from getting to him woke up and ran to the lord and all the more loudly he shouted you want to stop me you cannot stop me i will reach him i will go to him once he reached to jesus he said give me my sight back he got the side back the fourth thing the last thing that he did he wanted his sight back so that he can see his wife his children he can live a l- normal life but instead of getting back to his normal life he got back to the lord the scripture says that he got up and followed him so he did not only get the sight of eyes he also got the sight of faith the, the sight of life and he never wanted to lose if a blind man gets his sight back will he again go put something into his eyes and become blind again no so after seeing the lord he thought nothing can be as more beautiful as the lord and he followed him so dear brethren today 
First, we should accept our blindness. Second, we should get to the Lord, accept that the Lord heals me. I should go into His presence. Third, I should not be disturbed by people who try to get me away from the Lord, who try to silence me, who block my voice from reaching to the Lord. No, I should shout all the more loudly. Then, after I get healed, I should not leave the Lord. So let's close our eyes and make this prayer. Eternal Father God, we thank you and praise you, Lord Jesus, Master. Lord, help us to be healed. Help us to get back to you. Lord Jesus, give us the faith that the blind man had. His faith healed him. Let my faith heal me. Make this prayer through Christ the Lord. Amen.